Craig is a severely disturbed 41-year-old man who was hospitalized at the time of this interview. Craig's behavior is extremely intrusive and bizarre. You will notice his manic behavior, including inflated self-esteem, decreased need for sleep, and pressure of speech. Jay, at times, has difficulty keeping Craig focused in this interview. Craig shows a flight of ideas with abrupt changes from topic to topic. Also, he talks about the depressed periods of his bipolar cycle, for he has attempted suicide 14 times. Oh, how many times did I try to get rid of my life or felt down and out? Would say 14 times. So. Until 77, when I had a, a bad awakening of what was going on, of all these drugs and everything. Okay. You I tried think, to kill yourself? Yeah. Uh, why was that? Well, growing up in my lifetime, my childhood, my dad says it takes two people to make an argument. If one person gets an argument with one brother, and that same person gets an uh, argument with the other brother and the sister, then something is wrong. You have to eliminate that problem. Have you been in other words, brainwash myself to suicide. Okay. Well, have you been depressed? In periods where you were really down? Yeah, I have, and I find out if I can work with somebody for the first 20 minutes, I don't have any How problems. long will those depressions last when you get them? If I didn't talk to somebody, mm -hmm. no more than 20 minutes. And you'd get suicidal in 20 minutes? No, in 20 minutes, I am already cured. But if you had the depressions? Oh, that I had before. Uh, before I really learned and understood that, right. see, I had to have some self-worth, and where my self-worth comes from is to literally okay. put my life on the line for others. Okay. I want to talk, if you can, about periods where you were feeling depressed and... And suicidal and, and so suicidal. forth. Because, well, I How can often tell you that to the you? reason what was behind that, mm -hmm. and then I could tell you basically 14 times I ended up in the hospital. Because you were depressed? And because I was depressed. Suicidal? I was not always suicidal, but depressed, because okay. I felt how that long would those no depressions one loved last? me. Huh? How long would those depressions last? Oh, they would last They're kind of stupid, because if I went took an overdose on my own medication, which I most, that's all how I did it. There was one time I ha had my wrist slit, and I said, had my wrist slit because I cannot harm myself. Okay. That was terrible. I couldn't try. I couldn't even slice my own wrist. So I, had, I was in county jail. Fourteen times you've else. been pretty depressed, and down in the dumps. And some well, other times suicidal. The other times, do you get very high and elated, feel very good? Uh, well, see, everything else, other than the 14 admissions into the VA hospital, and... Of course, where did I get my training to literally stop doing well, I'm that? I'm interested in the times where you were not depressed, but you oh. were very high and up. And I would call it antsy. I or manic, it, perhaps. We could call very it. manic, yeah. Do you, uh, you know what that's like? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Tell me about when you're manic. Uh, when I'm manic, I, uh, I have a hard time to stop talking. In fact, uh, I have learned a couple times not to talk because one guy <laughs> took, bought a VW from him and he was test driving after he put a rear seal in. This was back in 1985. And uh, we're coming down uh, to a lake, man-made lake called Camp Bar West Lake in Plaza County. And uh, I'm talking, rapping on, rapping on. He says, shut up. <laughs> I keep on rapping on. He says, I'm serious. You be quiet, or I'll run your vehicle right into the lake. And I kept on talking, and sure enough, he ran the vehicle into the lake. 